got my paper measured out for the prints I'm going to do. And what I'm doing right now is <clears throat> I'm doing a faux chincolé, and I'll show you a couple sheets that I've just put some handmade paper on. These are already dry. And I have measured these sheets out to one and three eighths larger on either side. And I've used my, I've, sh I've showed you how to make one of these in, in one of my videos. It's just a box for measuring where your borders are going to be if you want. I'm not worried about real fussy borders, but I want some border around this. As you can see, they're not straight to the edge, but when I start printing, you'll see what will happen. But this is for a faux chincolé. Usually you do chincolé, you put, um, you attach the paper while you're printing it. This is, uh, I'm putting the tissue sheets down first onto my main substrate, and then I'm going to print over that instead of the other way around where you put it all together. It's, it's a nice process for printmaking, and I will do a video on how to do real regular chincolé. Right now I'm just using this border thing to get an idea. I'm taking these handmade papers and just going across my page with them. But I just don't want them to go into the border area, so I'm being a little bit fussy. Not terribly fussy, but I just want them to go across and then I'm going to print over them. Just want to make sure they don't go any further than the edge. And what I do is I usually pick a spot right here in the middle, glue that part down first. My glue is a mixture of PVA glue, just, I mean, you can use Elmer's glue, plain PVA glue mixed with a, a little bit of water to make it a little bit runnier. It still glues things down, but it, you don't end up with lumps and bumps. And So now I'm just gluing this down to my paper. Getting an idea. And I put uh, some of these, they've got leaf inclusions in them, the handmade paper. But I kind of put the leaves down because I want them there, but I don't want them too prominent. So this one, the leaf was on the other side. I couldn't do both. The grass is on this side. So, And I'm not worrying about getting them perfectly flat. I mean, you can get them flat. I'm pushing them down with my brush, but not. I'm not worried about... And there's not a big difference in color between this. On this one, I might do right side up, though. That's really pretty. Um, there's not a big difference between the color of my substrate and this, but there's a difference in texture that you really can't see. Oh, I like that better. And But you will be able to see once I start printing. I'm sure the difference in color won't show up. But the difference in texture between the two pages will show up. May be subtle, may not. We'll see. But I'm just gluing them down. And I'm not worried if I get the glue onto the page. It's all going to be just printed right over. So. I did some geometric ones with those squares that I had. I have a ton of those squares. They used to sell, Texas Art Supply used to sell little baggies of, um, assorted handmade papers just little scraps and I used to buy those for my journaling all right now this one actually not really fond of that one how about this one Give it a little bit more interest. Yeah, I like that. Like you say, I'm not being real precise. I'm just getting it under there to get it stuck down. Now I'll go along, make sure I get the middle done good, and then the edges. And I'm just pushing it down with my paintbrush. And it is a really light mixture of glue, but it, it, it'll glue it down tight. I'll show you those other pages in a sec. And then I'll come back and we'll print these when they're dry. And 
and see I'm pushing from the middle out not worrying about small little bubbles but you don't want any area sticking up bubbles will just add interesting texture but that's what I'm doing here can you see that I mean it's gonna be hard to see because like I said the colors are not that far off it's just an off-white and a white but when I start printing you'll see the difference so I'll be back when we're ready to print I think this one I'm gonna do I cleaned this one pretty good but there's still areas here that the thicker paint didn't want to come up as long as I've got most of it I'm happy I'm not really wanting lots of grunge on this one but we will use some of the, and this is Heritage, I don't know where I got this from, but this is a Quinacrinone Gold. I don't know where I got this one from, it might be an Amazon thing. Maybe a little bit more. Whoa, maybe that's a little too much. We'll see. What we don't use we can rub off. Now I just want a little bit of texture on this, so I'm going to use, I've been enjoying using this ribbon lately. I really love the effect it gives. And I'm just laying it down real lightly, rolling over it. It's still going to be covered with, oops, I don't like that line right there. It's still there. There, that's better. Okay. So we're going to do the, oh, let's do this one. Now we did one on that already. Let's do this one. I'm doing the, continuing with the shinkole. And I'm not really worried. I will cut the border down. I'm just trying to keep a border all around. I'll cut it down to probably an inch when I'm done. So I'm not trying to be terribly specific. I'm getting the border. I just cut the paper. Why there's a white spot there, but there is. Oh, well, that's better. And there's a start. I'll go over it one more time with something else, or maybe two more times. I'm going to use some new stencils that I got. That's a start with that one. And I'm liking that color. Let's do that one more time with one of the ones that looks kind of landscape type. We'll do these and then I'll come back when they're that layer's dry. I think I went this way with this one. This one we're just going to pull up as it is. I'm going to push it into that corner, make sure I get it good. Try and pick up most of it. Let's see. I like that. I like this right here, what it did right there. I don't know why it did that, but now we're going to go over the top of it with a different one with the blue. Well, this is one of those that I have to take the top off to get it to do anything. Running out of that stuff. mess up my corner thing here. Now if you get this thin it's nice and transparent but now I'm gonna pull up some of it with some stencils. I got this pile of stencils. I haven't bought new stencils in so long that 
I usually make my own stuff, as you probably know. Now I'm going to grab a picture, get the middle up as good as I can. Not worrying about the outer edge, just well, let's see what we got when we pull that up. Ooh, maybe I should have done that. Now I'm going to pull it up over this one. Let's do it over this one. It's kind of dark, but we can come back with something else if we don't like it. Let's give it a good push down. Oh, I like that. And there you are. Now I'm going to come up with something like a black stencil over it, maybe here. One more thing on this one, but that one's almost done. I really like this, though. I think I might do it again and see, because you're not going to get as crisp with a thicker paper, but let's try it. Let's try it again. And see if we can't get... That should be plenty. See if we can't get that to come up on one of the sheets that we've already printed. And maybe we'll go over it with something else later. But I really like the way that turned out. And this stencil is cool. Let's try it on this one. It's not going to come out as good and crisp as it did on that tissue, of course, but let's see what happens. Move this over so I don't get ick on the edges and why that was taped down. All right, let's get it in there close enough. Yeah, the thicker paper with paper pasted to it, you're not going to be able to get as crisp in the holes, usually. And I say something, and then it turns out to be exactly the opposite of what I said, but usually I can't get as good a crisp image as I did in, like, in that one. Totally crisp, but look at that. I like the way that came out. Can you see that? Nice detail. I don't know if I'll do anything else to that one. <clears throat> but now we have this again. That we can put over the top of something. How about this one? I was never thrilled with this one. I started, this is the one that I did, I went over with yellow, it's okay. But anyways, this is Shinkalai, this is how you do it. And you can come up with all different kinds of prints. I mean, you don't have to do what I did and just put squares. You can put birds, you can put whatever and then print over it. But you do get some interesting stuff. But I would say you should... Wow. I like that. Uh, you should wait till everything dries each layer at a time before going on. I mean, that's really important with this kind of printing. But there you go. There's some shinkole for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I will put at the end of the video will be all the ones that I do today because I've got a bunch more I'm going to do. But I just wanted to show you what I was doing. Thank you very much. If you like my 
video, please put a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I have a bunch of giveaway videos coming up. I've got, I've already launched one on Sunday. So, um, this should be going out the Wednesday. And then there should be another giveaway video launched that next Sunday. So, I'm going to try for the rest of November to do one giveaway each Sunday. So, looking forward to giving away some free stuff to people. I love getting free stuff. Thank you very much for viewing my video, and you have a lovely day.